time to think. Identify the following dresses. Long ago, people lived in caves. They did not wear the kind of clothes that we wear today. They covered themselves with leaves, barks of trees and animal skins. However, some of these were either too hot for summer or not enough for winter. Gradually, people learned to make fabric by weaving and knitting. Weaving Weaving is a process of making cloth on hand looms or power looms that run on electricity. Weaving is done using two threads. Knitting Knitting is done on knitting machines. It is done using only one thread. T-shirts, sweaters, track suits, shawls and many other things are knitted. We use knitting needles at home to knit sweaters, mufflers, gloves, etc. by hand. Coloring the cloth Cloth is colored or dyed by soaking in a colored solution which is made from chemicals, water and dyes. A dye can be made with chemicals or with vegetables and flowers. Dyes made from flowers and vegetables are called natural dyes. Different colors that can be made by mixing various combinations of the natural colors used for dyeing clothes are Green color is made from mehdi leaves. Orange color is made from the harsinghar flowers. Yellow color is made from turmeric. Purple color is made from blueberries. Black and gray colors are made from blackberries. Making patterns. Once the cloth is dyed, different designs and patterns are made on it. Tie and dye. Tie and dye is a method of creating patterns by tying off areas of cloth very tightly so that the dye does not reach them. The rest of the cloth is then dyed. Rajasthan and Gujarat are famous for tie and dye textiles. It is also known as bandhani. Block printing Wooden blocks with different designs carved on them are dipped in fabric colors and pressed on cloth to make patterns. Vegetable printing Vegetables are cut, given shapes and dipped into paint. It is an art of making designs on a cloth with the help of a column or pen. The word column means pen. Bihar is famous for its kalamkari work. Wearing clothes We wear clothes according to the climate of the region and our customs and traditions. In very hot places, people prefer to wear light cotton clothes, while in cold countries, people wear woolens to keep themselves warm. People in different states of India usually wear different types of clothes. Examples In Indian villages, people wear traditional clothes. In cities, men usually wear pants, jeans, shirts, t-shirts, etc. Women wear suits, shirts, tops, jeans, t-shirts, sari, etc. India has a rich tradition of wearing unstitched clothes. People wear them in different ways. Sari Indian women love to wear the sari, but the way women wear sari in different parts of the country is not the same. Dupatta A dupatta is an unstitched cloth. It is much shorter than a sari and is also called chunni, orini, chunari, etc. It is worn by women in different styles. In the northeastern states of India, women wear mekla, a long cloth with a blouse and cheddar. Turban. A turban is a headgear worn by men. Turbans are worn in different styles in different parts of the country. Dhoti. It is a long unstitched cloth, usually white in color. It is also called lungi in Tamil Nadu and Punjab and mundu in Kerala. Shawl. 
It is an unstitched cloth worn by both men and women in winters. The gents shawl is called lohi. Nitty gritty. Kashmir is famous for its pashmina shawl.